I'm Christy Snell. I'm from Metabolics in uh, Cambridge, Massachusetts, and we're developing uh, Camelina that is producing a biopolymer uh, that can be targeted for the bioplastics, the uh, chemicals, and also in value-added feed markets. Um, we do have a facility in Saskatoon, a wholly owned subsidiary uh, called Metabolic Soil Seeds, and that's where a lot of the Camelina research and development uh, work is being done. So it is a crop that has uh, very low inputs. Um, it uh, has a, a relatively high seed yield. It has a high oil yield. Um, and it's also uh, good as an industrial crop because it doesn't uh, cross-pollinate with brassica or um, anything. So that eliminates a lot of the uh, regulatory issues that you might have. We developed commercial uh, levels of our uh, biopolymer in our lines. And now what we're doing is uh, improving the lines, uh, improving their agronomic ability for um, growth in the field. PHB polyhydroxybutyrate is a uh, a polymer that is naturally made in some bacteria as a carbon storage molecule. Uh, the bacteria, when they have basically too much to eat, they make this polymer um, and then they can consume it later. Uh, so bacteria make it much like humans make fat as a storage molecule. Um, so what we have done is taken genes from bacteria and engineered them into camelina so that we can produce this biopolymer within the seeds of camelina. So it's important to realize we produce, uh, co-produce polymer and oil. So we have, uh, you know, two co-products, uh, uh, including the meal, we have three co-products coming out of the seed, and that helps to have uh, increased revenue, you know, for one feedstock. We're targeting three different uh, market segments. We're targeting the bioplastics markets. Uh, PHAs are um, uh, renewable uh, materials, they're biodegradable, but yet they have properties that are, um, can enable the displacement of petroleum-based plastics. Uh, we're also targeting the chemicals market. Uh, the polymer can be broken down just by simple heating uh, to make a platform chemical that can then be uh, converted into commodity chemicals. We're also uh, targeting uh, enhanced feed markets. Um, PHB itself has been found to be a prebiotic uh, feed ingredient. Um, it actually can increase feed conversion values. Um, it's been tested in animals and also in fish. And so we're looking into the use of our PHB containing camelina meal as a value added feed ingredient. The key factors are they're renewable, so they can be made from, um, in plants, they can be made from sunlight and CO2, whereas petroleum based plastics, of course, are made from uh, petroleum. Uh, they are also biodegradable, um, so that if they inadvertently get into the environment, they will biodegrade with time. Petroleum-based plastics do not degrade, they're in the environment uh, forever. PHAs are everywhere, uh, they're um, you know, in bacteria and soil bacteria, we actually have low levels of PHB in our body, so our trait is completely biocompatible. We'll have to go through uh, the regulatory process if it's grown in the U.S., so we'll also have to go through the reg a separate regulatory process if it's grown in Canada, and those two processes are very different. Um, this will uh, require getting uh, data about the uh, polymer and about the uh, use of it as a feed ingredient, um, so there will be quite a lot of work with that. Uh, labs at um, NRC. We also have greenhouses at Innovation Place, and both of those are really world-class world facilities. And then again, the talent that you can hire here. We really have a, a very good group of people um, that are uh, well-trained in oilseed research and a very unique setup here where you can uh, work at NRC but also have, you know, industrial greenhouse space and Innovation Place, and that's actually a very unique setup mm -hmm. that's okay. difficult to duplicate at other places.